Hi, this is Michael Williams. Welcome and thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And what I'm going to do in this video is answer some questions that people have been asking me over the last few years. I've been getting questions and comments where people have been saying, well, I have a problem speaking on the telephone, or I have a problem saying certain words, vowel sounds or consonant sounds, or saying certain things in certain situations. How do I handle that? In fact, one person said, you know, my name starts with one of these letters that I have a problem with, so I can't even say my name. I right? imagine that. So in this video, what I want to do is to share with you an approach or strategy for dealing with that. Now, this is not a trick. This is not a tip. This is not something that's short term. It may work for you immediately or it may take weeks or months and more than likely it will take months to work. It's going to take hard work and practice just like everything else. Okay, so if you're looking for something quick, this is probably not it. Now, I'm not saying that what I'm sharing with you won't work quickly because in some cases it does. But I think that your expectation should be that it's going to take hard work and it's going to take time. And when I say time, we're probably talking months. What, two months, Michael, or six months? Well, it depends on how long you've been stuttering, how severe your stuttering is. If you're mild to severe and you've been stuttering for several years or longer, then you're probably looking at upwards at around six months or so. All right now granted it could take three months but if you have realistic what expectations then you're probably going to stick in there and you're going to work on this until you see results does that make sense so you probably haven't seen any new videos from me in a while because what i've been doing is doing one-on-one -on -one intensive coaching so i'm not just giving these educational videos i'm actually working with people one-on-one -on -one and applying these strategies until we see success. I'm walking with them hand in hand on this journey to seeing them speaking more smoothly, fluently, and confidently. And it takes time, and it takes a lot of hard work. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that towards the end of the video. So let's jump right in, and I'm gonna share with you, once again, an approach or strategy that you can use to start speaking more smoothly and fluently to handling very specific situations, like the telephone or pronouncing certain words and letters. Now, in saying that, what I want you to realize is that it's not what, now listen, it's not what you do in the situation that really matters, but it's what you have been doing in the days, the weeks, and months preceding it. Let me say that again. It's not what you do or think even in that situation that really matters. It does matter, but it doesn't matter overall. What really matters is what you do and think in the days and the weeks and the months preceding that situation. So a person gets in a situation, they pick up the telephone. They get in a situation where they have to say an A, a word that starts with an A, or a C or a K, and they get stuck and they can't, they can't say their name or they can't say something. And so, well, what should I do? What can I do right now? All right, it's not what you do in that situation that really matters, because there's probably not a lot that you can do right then. But here's what really counts. What really counts is what you've been doing in the days and weeks preceding. So what is it that you should be, that you could be doing in the days, the weeks, and the months preceding that phone call or that specific situation. What can you, what should you, what could you be doing? Well, here it is. Let's say, for example, that you have a problem pronouncing words that start with A. Uh, Ashley, answer, acting, acknowledge, right? Let's say so, so let's just say that these are words that give you problems or words that start with an I or E. What you do is you create a series of mock situations, right? Think back about situations where you've struggled saying certain words or letters or phrases and create these little mock situations where you're actually going to practice saying these words. So let's just say you have a problem saying answer, right, or act. 
then create a series or a, a little conversation that you're going to have with someone where you constantly need to say act or answer or whatever words or letters you may be struggling with. And you create a little situation, a little mock, right, where you need to say those words over and over and over again. And you practice saying those words by yourself. Okay, you practice saying them successfully by yourself. Why by yourself? Well, the vast majority of the time, people feel a little more comfortable, a little more confident when they're by themselves. I'm not saying that you won't stutter, at least initially, right? because you have a memory of not being able to say these words. So you may struggle initially, but eventually, if not initially, you'll be able to say those words smoothly by yourself. Now add to that modeling, which you've heard me talk about in many of my other videos. You find someone that you like who they are as a person and you like how they speak. You like their rhythm. You like their style. You like how they speak. And you model that. You try to copy how they speak. You don't have to necessarily pick up their accent, but you copy their rhythm, the style, how they put their words together, how they fluctuate their tone, their intonation, right? You copy that. And you practice saying those words or phrases while modeling. You practice it by yourself. Then you practice maybe with a parent or a friend, right? How long do you have to do this? Well, you do it as often as you can. You do it a few days a week for 15, 20, 30 minutes. You do it four or five days a week, every week, until you don't need to do it anymore, right? Until you can say those words more smoothly and fluently and confidently without stuttering. Now, why is this so important? You say, oh yeah, well, I've tried that before. Well, you probably haven't. I've talked to many people that says, oh, I've tried modeling before, it didn't work. Then when I talk to them and I analyze what they've actually done, they actually were not doing modeling in the way that I teach it. Or they actually were not practicing in the way that I teach it. Uh, so what I want you to do is, is listen to the theory behind why you want to do this. Currently, you may have a, a memory of stuttering or blocking on these letters or these words or in these situations, be it on the telephone or whatever, right? You have a memory of that. So whenever you think about answering the phone or saying these words, subconsciously it triggers a certain level of anxiety. Subconsciously you have this pattern or this memory of stuttering or of blocking. So what happens is as soon as you get in that situation, there's this anticipatory fear. Even if you don't even know it or feel it or sense it, it's there and there's this block. There's this, it's, it's almost automatic that you block up or that you stutter. You don't have to think about it. It just happens because it's a pattern. It's a habit. It's something that is ingrained, if you will, in who you are and how you speak in that situation. What we want to do is we want to change that. We want to change that memory. We want to change that pattern, right? We want to change that, that groove, if you will, that groove that's been set. How do we do that? Well, we have to create new experiences. Now listen, we have to create new experiences of you saying those words, saying those phrases successfully and fluently, right? We have to create an alternative, an alternate way of doing it. The best way to start to do that is by yourself. Because normally by yourself, you're not going to stutter. So you start practicing saying answer, act. Yes, well I have to go act tonight. right? And you practice saying it fluently. And then you practice with someone else right, to increase the anxiety level. And you do that as long as you need to do it until you can say it and do it fluently. Once you've done that, what you've done is you've established these new connections in your brain. Literally, you've established these new neural connections that now say, hey, I can say that fluently. I can pronounce these words fluently because I've been doing it. Does that make sense? So you've practiced it now in a slightly different situation, a less stressful situation, but now you have this alternate concept and experience of yourself doing it. Now, some might say, well, oh, that doesn't work. Well, why wouldn't it work? Isn't that the way that you and I learn new things? Is that the way we learn new languages or we learn new skills? We pra even if we've learned it wrong the first time, we practice in the new way, in the better way, and we keep doing it until now we have an alternate way of doing it. 
makes sense. So if it's answering the phone, I'm just going to get my phone here. Then you take your phone, and you literally practice. Yes, this is Michael Williams. Hi, this is Michael Williams. And then you practice answering the phone. Now here's something else. If you notice you heard me say yes or hi, this is Michael Williams. When you answer the phone, you don't have to answer the phone in the way you think you should answer the phone. You can say yes, this is whatever your name is. Or you can say this is whatever your name is. You can say hi or hello. So you don't have to feel like you're set in a certain way of having to do something. You can create your own way as long as it doesn't look weird, as long as it doesn't sound weird, as long as it feels good and it looks good. You can have your own style in how you answer the phone and how you say things, as long as it's cool, all right? <laughs> so what we're saying is that you have to feel pressure, like I have to answer the phone this way. Well, I can create my own way of answering. I'll say, yes, this is Michael Williams. Yes, hello. This is Michael. Yes, hello. Right? So any way that you want to uh, answer the phone that feels good, that sounds normal, if you will, you can do that. And that takes the pressure off of you. So create your own style of answering the phone, if you will. But practice answering the phone. Practice saying your name. Practice saying your phone number. Practice saying your address. Whatever phrases you struggle with, Practice saying it until you say it smooth. So, well, I can do that by myself, but then when I actually get on the phone. All right. The next phase then is you take your phone, and if you have a recording device on your phone, you click the recording and you practice saying it to the recording, right? You practice saying it to the recording. And once you can do that, then you actually create situations where you need to make phone calls. We need to make phone calls, and you make phone calls, and you practice speaking on the phone. Practice makes perfect, right? But you have to create new experiences of you answering the phone, of you saying whatever it is that you may struggle with. You have to create new experiences of you doing it successfully. There really is no other way, right? We can use visualization, we can use affirmations, they're very powerful. And I use that in my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, and I've talked about it in other videos. But one of the things that you ultimately are going to need to do is you're going to need to actually practice saying those words and those phrases that you struggle with. And you may not have thought of that before, that if I struggle with saying my name in a certain situation, well, how do I overcome that? Well, in that situation, you probably don't. But what you do is you put yourself mentally in that situation, right? You do this several days a week, whether it's saying your name, someone, they're, they're going around and they say, uh, would you give me your name, introduce yourself, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, that can bring a lot of fear and anxiety to some people. So what you do is you practice different ways of saying that. You sit down and you mentally put yourself in that place where you have to say your name. Say, hi, my name is Michael Williams, and I'm 45 years old, and you just practice that over and over, and you visually see yourself doing it successfully. When you get in the situation, let's say where you normally would just block up and not say anything, well maybe the next time, you actually are able to say your name and say a few sentences fluently, which is better than before, right? Maybe you don't say everything the way you want it, but you're able to say more than you were before, because you had developed new memories of saying it successfully. And the more you do it, the more you practice, the more successes you have, the more likely you're going to be able to do it successfully the next time. Does that make sense? So I hope that this was helpful um, because it's very basic, but it's very specific. And that is, whatever you struggle with, whatever words, phrases, letters, situations you struggle with, you create a mock situation and you practice saying whatever it is that you may struggle with in that mock situation. You practice until you have it fluently, until you say it smoothly. Then you practice with someone you, or you go out and you put yourself in those situations where you can actually practice it in real life. Uh, don't expect it to go perfectly the first time, although it may, right? Although it may. In fact, expect, you, expect yourself to do an excellent job at it the first time, but also expect that 
you may stutter. You may not speak as well as you'd like to the first time. Okay? So you want to have realistic expectations. So you go out, you put yourself in the situation, and you practice, and you continue to do that. And while I, I can never guarantee anything, I can almost guarantee you that by doing that for those specific situations, you'll improve. It may be incremental, it may be eventual, but you will improve. It may also be immediate. You may practice and you may be able to do it excellently immediately. Makes sense. All right, so let's just take a couple of moments and talk about the intensive private coaching. And I'm going to take a minute because I'm going to create a separate video for this, but I'm going to be opening up one or two seats in my intensive coaching program. And that is, we have an eight week, a 12 week, and a 16 week program where I work with you intensively every single week for eight weeks, for 12 weeks, for 16 weeks. And we use Skype and we use Google. Google Docs because we have journals and things and we use Skype and we do video and we do audio and I meet with you once a week for approximately 90 minutes and there's email support and all of my audios and videos you have access to when I say access I mean you can download them and keep them with you so you get all of that and you and I work together for 90 minutes every single week you have questions, you shoot an email, I'll respond to you. Why is this so important? Because I'm not just going to give you information and then have you go out and try to do it by yourself, but some of the benefits are, and once again I'll talk more about this in other videos, is you get feedback. You get immediate feedback. You get evaluation. That is, I'm able to evaluate you and say, you need to work specifically on this, and then I continue to write. And you also get encouragement. That is, you're going to want to give up. Most people want to give up because they're not seeing the results they thought they would, they're not seeing the results they like, they're not seeing the results fast enough, so they want to give up. So what I do is I encourage you and I say, just keep going. It's working. It's there. I'm seeing some results. Are you seeing these little results? It might be small, but they're there. And keep at it. And it's that, that extra push that we all need sometime to keep us going. And that's what gets most people over the hump. All right. So what I'll be doing is opening up two seats, and no more than two seats. I have an application that uh, that you're going to need to fill out. We're going to be evaluating um, you so that we get the right people in to this intensive coaching program. Now, who are we looking for? We're looking. We're we're not looking for people who just want to overcome stuttering. I know you're going to say, "Well, then why do you have how to stop that?" We're not looking for people who just want. To overcome stuttering. Now listen, we're looking for people who need to speak more smoothly, fluently, and confidently. We're looking for people whose calling in life hinges upon their ability to communicate more smoothly, fluently, and confidently. So you know that you're not going to be fulfilled, that you're not going to be as happy as you could be, that you're not going to be able to make the contribution to this world, to others, that you could unless you start speaking more smoothly, fluently, and confidently, right? You need to speak more smoothly. You need to speak more fluently. You need to be able to do that. Those are the people that we're looking for. Not the people that just want to overcome, but the people who need to speak well. This is not really about stuttering or overcoming stuttering, this is about speaking well. So we're going to talk about, we're going to think about, we're going to focus our actions and our energy on speaking well, on presenting, and on speaking well in conversations, right? That's what, why? Because your whole life depends on it. Those are the people that I want in this coaching program. So if that fits you, then what I'd like for you to do is to contact me and you can send me a private message. I'll give you my email address. But I want you to contact me. Is this free? Absolutely not. There is a value to it. There's a great value because I'm going to be working with you personally every week for either 8 weeks, 12 weeks, or 16 weeks. And that's a long time and that's a lot of work on your part 
and on mine. So yes, this is going to cost, but there's a convenience factor where you don't have to leave your house to do this by Skype, by email, using Google Docs, and so forth. So once you have contacted me, I'll let you know the cost of those programs, and uh, we'll get your application in, we'll evaluate it, and then we'll move on from there. Thank you very much. I'm sorry that this took a little longer, but I wanted to provide you something of value that is a very specific approach or strategy to dealing with specific words or phrases or situations, like speaking on the phone. And I wanted to just give you kind of a preview of the private intensive coaching. Once again, go ahead and contact me. Thank you for taking the time to listen, to watch, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you for your comments as well. Keep them coming. I'll see you later. This is Michael Williams.